in the beginning God said let there be light and there was and he made the earth and everything and all that <laughs> and then he made all the animals and he made the first two human beings Adam and Eve otherwise known as a man and a man and they lived probably in Africa probably there I don't know but they said fuck you God <laughs> we're pretty cool I don't think we need you you know I mean you know what are you for actually actually I don't think I need you so um yeah ciao and uh, you know obviously things started to go wrong after they did that but they weren't really aware so they had some kids nice cuddly kids and I guess these kids probably thought these guys have got and um, but there was a there was a problem uh, because these two had left God and said sod off these children of theirs didn't really understand the rules and when this guy was being all happy and doing lovely things he really had a lovely life you know he was rewarded from the earth and his actions came back onto him and he, he you had a lovely time didn't you Abel yeah but this guy he just couldn't be bothered he was just This is Cain, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, Cain, to make you look so evil. It was just some toys. Uh -huh. um, so, he was like, he can be bothered. He just kicked sticks around or whatever. And he got back what he put in. And he didn't like it. And he saw his brother and then... <coughs> did a bad thing. And uh, it killed him, and Abel's body was dead, but his spirit was still around. And, you know, he was the first one, really, to be in the spirit world. He was pretty pissed off, understandably. Yeah. Um, so what did God do? Naughty, naughty, I'm not God, I'm just pretending to be God. Um, <clears throat> you naughty, naughty boy, um, what shall we do with you? Hmm. I've got an idea. You won't get anything from the ground, right? You know, even if you do good, uh, you know, the ground will not yield its wealth to you, okay? Right? Got it? Oh, but oh, they'll kill me! Alright. So, I've just given you something a bit nasty. Um, so I'll tell you what. Anyone does anything to you, they'll get it back seven times stronger. Yeah? Okay? So if anyone kills you, they'll be killed seven times. Doesn't quite work out, does it? But the karma strength, okay? But this has their positives because if they love you, they'll get seven times that amount of love back. And that's nice for them, isn't it? Alright? So that was quite, in a sense, I'm rewarding you a little bit because of your courage in killing your brother. I'm not, I'm not sure how much courage it took, but... I guess it's one of these things you humans are going to have to learn. I mean, you were the one who did it. So, well, there we go. So anyway, I'm going to give you what would be called the mark of Cain. 
And actually, I'm going to make your eyes go green so that anyone who meets you will see straight away that you've got the mark of Cain. And there can be no doubt that, um, you know, you faked it or anything, apart from in the 21st century when people can get coloured things. But um, no, so your eyes will be green from now on, okay? And your children, all their eyes will be green. And, and so on and so forth. So you better make friends because you're not going to be able to grow any food and you can do them favours instead, you know, and um, and they'll give you some food. So make friends and it should be fine, it should be fine. You see, God created the universe and, and all the laws, but when this happened, it perhaps just saw the opportunity to, to speed things up. Um, you see, if we had all the straight karma, just one on one, it would be it would be perhaps not strong enough to show itself and and be quite obvious. Anyway, so Cain goes off to this land of Nod or whatever, uh, right? But um. Another righteous dude, um, frickin' phone, <laughs> another righteous dude called Enoch, he was, uh, he wasn't very happy about this, and he could, and he could see it sort of, um, affecting him because he was in the line of Seth. And, and, and you know, suddenly they've worked out Cain's karma and everything, and it's like, it's almost like they feel like, well, you know, what is he, a king? Because his love is strong, we have to love him, and, and we get more love back, but if we do anything bad to him, we get more bad back. So now, so now almost like, hey, what, have you made him our ruler? Obviously not. Because um, Cain can't grow food. So he can't get the wealth out of the ground. So he's dependent upon the righteous dudes, the brownites, to uh, eat. Which we all need to do. But obviously Enoch had some issues with it, I think. As he walked with God for 300 years. And then God took him back. So we weren't quite happy about it. And perhaps to add an insult to injury, I don't know if Adam had died yet when in the line of Cain, Lamech came. No. Let me see. Uh, too dark. But this geezer has got blue eyes. And the neck. He was a pretty good looking guy. He had this he had this sort of seven karma, you know, he was a pretty cool dude, strutting about the place. He liked the ladies. Now they would have known at this time that there was a you know, a soulmate for each person. It would have been pretty apparent in the early days that people were paired specifically. But you, what did you do? That took me two wives. <laughs> two wives? Well, that means you took somebody else's soulmate. You saw them. I wanted two. I like a variety. So, uh, alright, so basically what you're saying is you're greedy to the point where you'll see one of your brothers suffer and go without. Uh, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because uh, if I do something bad to a brown eye, it barely affects me. <laughs> right. God decided. Probably always an idea. Now, you know what I did to Cain, don't you? I said to him, he won't get the wealth out of the ground. Well, I 
going to have to go a step further with you, aren't I? I mean, you've really, you've really, like, gone into this sin thing, haven't you? So, you will be persecuted by insects. And, I don't know if you're going to be disliked by animals as well. I'm not sure about that one. But insect, and your food, you grow any food, phew, there's going to be insects all over it. They're going to devour it, brother, son. I'm pretending to be God, so son. Um, so yeah, you're, you're going to be... Um, you are going to be persecuted by insects, or your food will be. But, if anyone should kill you, you'll kill them seven, sevenfold. Now that could be... 49 times the karma. I think it probably is 49 times the karma. Could be 77. So that makes you pretty powerful now. So what happened then is the righteous dudes were like, No! What? 77? <gasps> Not having this, you piss off, live up north. As far as they were concerned, they weren't having that. Blue eyes. You can go up north. You are too dangerous to be around. I can't um, abide this. Perhaps they didn't go straight away. Now then, what do you think this line of Seth were thinking now? Well, if that happened, what about... If this happens again, and another sin is committed, is there going to be a new colour of eye and a seven 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 fold karma? So we go down Seth's line, and we get to. Uh, I think it's Lamech again. I, I, I can't bother to check it. Anyway, Noah's father. Guy who died when he was 777. They hooked a plan. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this plan's going to work. Whoa, whoa. What we'll do, when I'm 777, you kill me. That will create a terrible sin and God will have no choice but to change the colour of your eyes and make the karma 777 and then we'll be the most powerful in the world. <laughs> right then, I'm 777 today. Alright. Killed. What's going to happen? Oh. Nothing's happening. Oh, you're dead. Bloody hell. Next day, nothing's bloody happened. Next day, nothing's happened. He's speaking to him from the heaven. Nothing bloody happened, did it? No. Oh. <laughs> we'll do something. What? Oh. Tell a big fat lie and no one else is ever going to know the truth. Right, how do I hide the truth? I'll tell a massive bloody lie and then put it in a book. Right, okay. I mean, I don't know, maybe there was a flood or something. But basically, this is how the beginning of the world was set up. And um, the, Cain, the Cain guys, you know, they, they managed to stay in. A lot of people have got brown and green eyes. So there's a lot of mixing. I don't quite know what happens when you've got hazel eyes, whether one year you can't grow and one year you can. But anyway, what happened? <laughs> eh? What happened? Long, long time ago. Well, I'd say... These guys are up north. 
Russia, Scandinavia, uh, living on basically berries and trout. But they became strong. And, you know, history, Vikings, raping and pillaging. Um, and if you, if you were to look, You've got to look at individual cases, but if you were to look in wars, a blue-eyed guy getting shot is going to result in the other side of the army losing more. So, the rest of history is written, and you know some of it, written by the victors. But let's face it, the blue-eyed people have basically come and spread they need pesticides on their crops, they need fertilizers, it's ruining the planet and if there's any more wars we're going to lose too many brown people and then they're going to starve but God isn't going to let that happen. God never meant for there to be a seven 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 fold karma thing. I mean, what what would have been the next stage with the punishment anyway? I mean, it's going to be worse, isn't it? Anyway, so that is that. Thanks.